Hey everyone, it's Halo 4 Tutor with another Halo gameplay commentary. As always, you know you're going to get my signature tips and tricks that will help you step up your game and take it to the next level. The tips and tricks that I'm going to give you here in this video will help you stay ahead of the curve, continue to win more and more games, and have a lot more fun while you're doing it. And I've got so much to cover, we're just going to jump right in here, do away with formalities. I'm playing a big team game on the map Exile. This is 8 versus 8 game type, and... Uh, it's it's a scoring it's a scoring based game so it's first team to a thousand points wins and uh, we're gonna dive right in here and let me give you just some overall impressions of Exile while it's getting warmed up here um, Exile it's a big map but uh, it's eight on eight so it feels crowded even though it's big and one of the things that contributes to the crowding is that there's lots of vehicles so there's a lot of mobility people are able to move across the map very quickly. And uh, on top of that, everybody's got sprint, everybody's got additional power-ups, and so the game moves very, very quickly, and you can cover a lot of ground very fast. Uh, in prior ha ha Halo games, sometimes in big team, you could kind of rest on your laurels and sit back, and uh, sometimes you weren't always engaged. That's not going to be the case here. You are always engaged. Um, so... You know, just you got to be prepared for some really intense, fast-paced action when you get into big team here, and it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Now here I am in the Gauss Hog. You know, in Halo Reach, the Gauss Hog was probably the most powerful weapon in the game, and from my short experience with it here in Halo 4, it still appears to uh, maintain its domination. It is just supremely powerful, and it was a total waste that I couldn't get a teammate. To jump in and drive me around um you know big mistake on my team's part we were able to get the victory and i was able to get a killing spree just sitting here in park right imagine what we could have done if i had a good teammate who was out there driving me around helping me pick up a few extra loose kills probably would have got a frenzy out of it so if you ever see the gauss hog on any map okay you got it you got to run for it you got to jump on it because it's very very powerful there's probably not a more powerful weapon in the game okay keep that in mind um, let's see, what else do I want to get into here? Okay, respawning. That's another really huge thing that has changed from Halo Reach, and you need to understand how respawning works, because it's different, and you can make decisions with your respawning that will dramatically affect the course of the game, okay, and dramatically affect the, the result of the game. When you die, you're going to get, a, if you don't do anything, let's start with that, if you don't do anything when you die, you're going to wait five seconds, and then you'll, then you'll respawn. However, during that five seconds, you can do two different things. You can uh, choose to respawn immediately by hitting the X button, which that's what I would recommend doing because you can get right back in the battle. You can get right back into things. And if you choose not to respawn immediately, then your teammates are outnumbered during that respawn time. So it's very important that you respawn immediately. That's not going to happen automatically, though. You have to manually hit that respawn button. So you need to make sure to do that. Now, uh, the other thing that you can do during that five second respawn is change your loadout if that's something you want to do. Now, early on, um, you know, right now I've only got really one quality loadout, so there's no point in changing my loadout. I don't have any other quality loadouts available. Now, as I continue to rank up and get more and more loadouts, you know, it will be certainly advantageous to change that loadout uh, throughout the game. But for now, I just hit that respawn as quickly as I can. Get right back in the game immediately. Don't wait the full five second respawn, okay? That's gonna make a huge difference in the game. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, I wanna point out something I'm doing here. You, you'll notice I keep getting creamed by this tank. He's, this guy's driving me nuts. But anytime you see another player on the other team, whether he's got the sniper or a tank or some other power weapon, and he's just crushing our team. Very, very smart. I can tell this guy's you know the best player on their team. He's got that scorpion over there. He's got his back against the wall, and he's just spawn camping us. We're spawning over on this side, and he just keeps blowing us up over and over and over again. And I knew if I did not take care of that uh, tank, it was going to be doomsday for us. And so that's why you see I just keep going for the tank. Even though it's kind of risky, it's pretty dangerous, and I do die a few times, it's going to be worth it to finally get that tank down because otherwise he's just sitting there while we spawn, and he's just tearing us up. So... You know, I would have liked to have done the same thing with the Gauss Hog here to go and kind of spawn camp their side of the map, but I could never get anybody to drive me over, which was a real crying shame. So make sure that you're using teamwork, guys. You can accomplish so much more as a team than you can playing alone. 
I did finally get revenge on that guy, about five revenges to be precise, and uh, took him down with the Gauss Hog and uh, got him out of the game. And that's really going to be the turning point for us. You see we're behind until that tank gets taken down. Once the tank goes down, we really come from behind and pull off a victory, and uh, things go really well. Now, I want to point out, I finally got somebody to drive me around, but he wasn't, you know, he could have he could have done a better job. He got too close to the opponents. When you're driving with a Gauss Hog, you want to maintain a really healthy distance. You see, he just gets us into this corner here, and it's like shooting fish in a barrel. We get blown up really quickly. What you're better off doing with a Warthog uh, or a Gauss Hog is that, um, you know, kind of keep a distance, uh, continue moving, don't stand still. You want to kind of go towards your opponents, but don't get so close that your gunner can't shoot them, right? And you definitely don't want to get so close that you can be hijacked. So that's something to keep in mind as you're driving around. I got a lot more driving tips, but I'll save them for another video. Um, what else? Uh, so I've got the the damage boost here, which is fantastic. That's one of the um, that's one of the what do you call it? The the little special abilities that drop down. I <laughs> I'm drawing a blank, but um, anyway, when you have those, let me let me look at my notes real quick here. Uh, the ordnance drops, that's right. So I got a power up from the ordnance drops, the damage boost, and that is powerful. It's like a two shot kill with any weapon when you have that damage boost. So if you have an opportunity to pick that up, I really did like that. Here comes an animated assassination. Uh, these are back in, in Halo 4, uh, bigger and better than ever. I get a real nice double here. I get the animated assassination. I get the melee attack, then finish him off with a headshot. Real nice double kill there. In fact, throughout this game, you know, several nice multi-kills and a couple killing sprees as well. That's why I wanted to share this one with you. Um, let's see here. You know, one thing I want to point out, and you'll see that at the end of the game, I have the second highest point total on our team. Uh, did pretty well for myself. And it's all about playing a well-rounded game, right? It's not just about getting kills. You're going to get points for assists. You get points for kills. You get points for driving people. You get points for... Uh, revenges and killjoys and things like that so it's not just about getting kills you need to be a team player and have a well-rounded game that's really what's gonna lead your team to victory don't get so fixated on just kills alone help your teammates out you know uh, look for those assists look to clean up kills uh, look to play smart and play together you're gonna win a lot of games that way you can see we're still behind here but we're gonna come from behind we're catching up and I truly believe if we hadn't got that tank down uh, the game probably be over by now, right? But we're still hanging in there, doing a pretty good job. I was able to hijack this vehicle here. You can still hijack vehicles. It's very satisfying. The Ghost is a fun vehicle. Uh, I'm having trouble splattering people, but we'll see if I can improve as the uh, time goes on. Let's see what else here. We're kind of winding down. I want to make sure that uh, save enough time at the end. Um, you know, I think that I'm probably going to wrap this up and save the rest of my tips for the next video. So make sure that you've tuned in. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to do so because I'm just constantly uploading new videos, new maps. I'm going to be telling you all about the uh, the weapons, the loadouts, uh, what you need to do to, to win more games and have a lot more fun while you're doing it. Uh, I've already put up several Halo 4 commentaries, several tips and tricks. So go back to my channel, check them out. You don't want to miss a single video. Um, while you're here, uh, I do have a poll question for you, and that is which map have you played on that is your favorite map so far, right? If you've already got the game and you've been playing, what's your favorite map so far? Um, you know, I would have to say that I, I really liked, um, I think it was a drift was pretty good. But, uh, you know, the jury's still out. I don't think I've played any of them quite enough. But leave a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite map is. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, add this video to your favorites. This is Halo 4 Tutor. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.